What's up, everybody? It's Joe Court. I'm back again for another review, and this time I'm going to be reviewing the film Sella Tersica, the latest from Toe Tag Pictures. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I'm not really sure, but uh, everybody knows Fred Vogel. You know, everybody in the horror community knows that they're known for the August Underground trilogy, uh, Red Sin Tower, Mask Head, and the Murder Collection Volume 1. So, needless to say, with a history like that, I pre-ordered this one quite a while back, and when I got it in the mail the other day, I immediately just tore open the package and watched it. There's been a lot of hype building up around it, and in my opinion, this movie lives up to the hype. But basically, what the movie is, is this guy named Brad comes back f home from the war, and he's going to live in this house with his family, um, and his mom and his sister and his brother are really worried about him when he first gets there because he's not looking so good and he's having a lot of issues. One of the main issues is uh, he comes back in a wheelchair and he can't move his legs. And he's telling his brother about what happened. You know, uh, he was he was just moving along and stuff and then it blacked out and him and his whole like squad just uh, disappeared, basically. And I guess... I. If I remember correctly, he said they found him a few days later, and all of them had different problems. Like, he could only see them black and white, and he couldn't move his legs, and one of his friends lost their eyesight, and three other ones are in wheelchairs, too. Some of the people that disappeared with him were, you know, uh, thinking it w aliens abducted them or something. And it's never fully explained what happened uh, when they disappeared. It's kind of made there for you to decide for yourself. And um, I'm not exactly going to give away the twists or whatever. And I don't want to put any spoilers in this review. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys listening haven't seen this yet and want to see it. Um, I know a lot of people who watch my video are Toe Tag fans. And one thing I am going to say is this is very different from uh, for Toe Tag. I mean, it's a very different film. It's kind of Toe Tag Pictures uh, growing into Toe Tag Inc. Uh, and it's just, it's really great, really top notch. It plays like a drama for the first hour, a little over an hour actually. And then it, it turns into what the film overall is. A lot of moments in the movie are kind of depressing. Like when he's uh, talking about the fireballs with the kids overseas. Uh, he talks about how basically giving them the fireballs is like torturing them because they're not used to candy and stuff. And it's like extremely hot when they get it. And uh, it just some really, really kind of messed up stories about what they would do and stuff. Um, this movie in many ways is also mostly dialogue driven, really. And, and don't, uh, you know, freak out or anything. There's plenty of good gore in the movie, and uh, plenty of liquids leaking from bodies. And also, another another cool thing, I know this is getting off topic a little bit, but the dog's name's Fulci in the movie. I thought that was pretty fucking cool, you know, Lucio Fulci, awesome. But yeah, overall, I was really impressed with this movie, and that's kind of surprising because I built it up pretty big after after reading some of the hype. I didn't, I didn't really read about what the movie was actually about. I wanted to go into it, you know, just not knowing anything. And this movie was just, it lived up to uh, what everybody's saying. And it's just top-notch everything. The story, the acting is great. Uh, the guy who played Brad did a great job. And his name was Damien Maruskar? I, I believe that's what it was. But uh, he did a great job. Kamel Keaton did a great job. Uh, you know, awesome chick, the lady who's starting I Spit in Your Grave. Uh, and even those of you who aren't fans of Toe Tag, check this out. Because like I said, it's very different from Toe Tag Pictures. I think it has... Um, I really think that this will appeal to everyone you know it's it it's kind of like a drama horror thriller type thing and it it definitely i think will get a wider audience than 
August Underground did or whatever because I know August Underground was too much for some people. Some people didn't like it. Um, I'm a fan of those movies, but I know a lot of people have told me that they're not into them at all and they think they're disgusting or whatever. But uh, definitely my favorite Toe Tag Pictures movie, or Toe Tag Inc. now. And really, I hope uh, Toe Tag pulls through with the problems they're going through right now. Their uh, their, uh, factory or whatever getting closed down. But uh, yeah, not really much else to say. Great movie. Uh, One of my favorite that I've seen this year, actually. And... It, to the people who I've I've heard rumors going around on the internet that like like people are saying that this is a Death Dream remake or something. It does have some similar qualities to that movie, but it's it's far from being a remake of that. Uh, just saying that after you watch this is kind of ridiculous. But yeah, that's that's the review. And uh, until next time, see you guys later.